Weird habits. Whenever I'm depressed or in a really bad mental state, I go on apartments.com. What's up YouTube? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you guys can't tell by the title, I'm going to be answering your invasive questions once again. This is a monthly series if you're not already aware and I ask you guys to send me questions on my Instagram as always at this is not guy foster. I'm traveling right now because I live in quarantine by myself and I was going kind of crazy so I'm going to be going to Raleigh, North Carolina because I just really like the area. Um, it's kind of like my happy place, my little escape and it's very quiet, very calm. I'm not going to be doing anything that requires meeting people. I'm pretty much just going to be exploring the nature around here because I don't know what it is about North Carolina trees but they just like, they hit different. Um, you guys don't care, I'm, I'm just going to get into the questions. Why haven't you posted? Depression. Not invasive, but what does and don't mean in your bios? <laughs> oh, so my Twitter and my Instagram, my bio says and don't. I don't know if you guys remember a video that was circulating on Twitter, but basically it was a girl and I don't even know the situation really, but she was basically like, and don't give a fuck, and don't. Baby, what you got? What you got? What you got up? What you got up under this? Like, <gasps> you just snatched it off on camera like that? I showed it! And don't give a fuck. And don't. I'm putting me right back on. And yeah. Were you enjoy everything? No, never. Do you miss your family during quarantine? <sighs> Trying to figure out a way to answer this in the least problematic way. I wouldn't call it missing, you know? You know when somebody asks you, do you miss me? And like, you really don't, but you can't say that because that's rude. They kind of just set you up if you think about it. But back to your question, I wouldn't say that I necessarily miss them because I was already living away from them when quarantine started. I miss my sister probably the most out of everybody. Explain your relationship with your parents. At least in terms of my mom, I would say that it's still like a mother-daughter relationship, but I feel like we're crossing that threshold of, okay, we're both adults, we can both talk to each other in this kind of manner. Um, my other parents, I'm gonna have to get back to you. Moral of the story is, I respect respect. How do you deal with depressing nights and dark thoughts? Weeb. Would you go back to Howard for $300,000? Now we're talking about something. Any good weed stories? I'm gonna have to catch y'all when I'm 21. Um, that's about six months from now so um stay tuned worst sex you've ever had story i'm honestly trying to think of the best that i've had that's alarming are you currently still a part of the dating world or are you just chilling but right now i'm just chilling because i will not be living in my current area so there's like no point in flirting with people or getting to know people when I'm not even gonna be there in four months. What happened with Josh? Me and Josh are just friends. Um, he was deployed, so he's not here right now. What's the weirdest thing you've done when you were alone? I'll be having full-blown conversations with myself. I'm editing. Um, excuse whatever the fuck, but isn't that like the premise of being a YouTuber? I don't know, just food for thought, kinda. I think something even crazier than that is I'll be having a conversation in my head and my just like crackhead ass will like say parts of the conversation out loud just like unknowingly just like subconsciously and then I just have to stop there and sit for a second like what the fuck. Has a person ever made you question your sexuality? I've questioned it but I can't say that a person has. You know I don't know when I look at other girls and I think that they're really pretty or attractive it's never really coming from a place of like I want to fuck you it's more coming from a place of like damn I wish my body was like that weird habits whenever I'm depressed or in a really bad mental state I go on apartments.com do you recommend being a hoe after a breakup I'm at that point um honestly I wouldn't recommend it because I've tried that before and all it does is bring temporary satisfaction you never really solving the problem because it's within yourself and you need to heal first so I would just say let yourself feel first and process and be emotional because I'd rather you do that than go months evading your mental health and then six months down the line having a full-on breakdown. Have you ever been in a physical fight? If so, please do a quick recap. I don't know if my sister counts, but with anybody else, like, no. I just have never saw the point or benefit in fighting. Like, it's 2020, you know? 
there's so many alternatives to getting your feelings out than fisting a nigga with your hand. Now, what I will say is if somebody puts their hands on me, I will react. My mom told me a few times when I was in elementary school that if somebody puts their hands on you, you can bite them back. And you know, I would go to school like ready. Oh, right. Would you move in with someone before engagement? You know, I would. I would honestly move in with somebody while we're dating. I would give it a good few months to actually like fill out the person, but in terms of like being engaged and marrying somebody, I don't think people understand how long of a commitment marriage is. And to move in with you the day after we got married and to figure out that you don't put the toilet seat down we would have to get a divorce. So I would rather just, you know, nip it in the bud beforehand and not have surprises after. Guilty quarantine pleasures. My guilty quarantine pleasures honestly would be doing online shopping when I am broke and don't necessarily need to. It's been Christmas every day for the past three weeks in my mail room and I'm pretty sure the guy in there hates me because I go in there every day tell him my room number and he, we just we don't even talk anymore why do you use the same makeup all the time um honestly it's just because like it's what i'm comfortable with i have no urge to switch it up what is going on with this traffic <laughs> you get booty hole cramps on your period i don't know if i'm the only one that gets them um to be quite honest i don't get cramps on my period i used to when i was younger but then i started taking birth control and they stopped but i've Stop taking birth control for like the past few months and I still don't get them so I don't have cramps pretty sure it's a thing though so I'm not gonna knock you for it but what do you like the most and least about your appearance you know I think that I have nice lips I like my lips um, I don't know if you're looking for anything deeper than that. My smile, maybe that's more wholesome. But least, I was in my height. It's not necessarily that deep to me anymore, but it does make some things a little more difficult, you know? Like the steering wheel is literally right here. Which of your friends do you secretly fantasize about? Well, my friend, it wouldn't be a secret then. What is your relationship status at the moment? Single as f Wow! I'm literally in the butt of Virginia and I don't feel very comfortable. And the last question is what are your plans for the future? Um, I honestly don't plan anything out more than a month in advance because you know I'm a very impulsive person. I act very randomly and I have to leave space for that. I'm just grinding, being true to myself, making money. You can only really be present in the present. So yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a while, but I promise to be back on my regular scheduling. But yeah, I'm gonna be giving a merch shout out and my next merch shout out goes to, I think it's, is it Pers Persai Simpson? Persay Simpson? I don't know. But I'm gonna put her account on the screen so you can go see it, go follow. But thank you so much for buying merch. It helps a lot. I currently don't have any merch available anymore, so I can't even tell you to go cop to get another merch shout out. But I will be releasing merch later on this month. So stay tuned for that announcement. I'm still stuck in traffic. In the middle of nowhere. So I'm just gonna, um, get back to my driving duties and I'll see you guys in the next video.